same address we see you now, sending bars and tunes. Buenas noches, LA. Madrid, online. Bonsoir, LA. Are we receiving your data? LA here. Where we go? Photography, there. We're online. Command the program is queued. Initializing matrix on my mark. London. Switch to transponder 7-alpha. 7-alpha. Right, mate. Global net initializing on my mark in seven. Six. Five. Four. Definitely a look. What does that mean? Well, maybe you could make a slight concession to reality. Who's reality? It's all in your point of view. Holly, <laughs> promise me. Devin, chill. Not tonight, okay? Okay, okay. Nice outfit. <laughs> Thank you. She's an artist. She makes her own walls. <laughs> well, she ought to make some new ones. <laughs> Don't worry. They're just brainless clones. The day my first album comes out, they're all going to be dressing like me. Yeah. Right. Jack, look at these girls. You in heaven? I just died. They all look like my sister. I like your sister. I know that. You know, they said if the night works, side the cast never gonna be the same. Yeah, what's gonna be so different about it? I don't know, she can't say. She had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Apparently, side the courier keeping everything totally hush. You call this hush? Wir begrüßen heute Abend alle Gäste als Wunsch. Grazie. Buenos Aires. Start. Stand by the oar. Welcome, one and all, to the imagination of Samantha. Go the oar.
you about it. You saw it. I know, but it's still not possible. They are gonna make a fortune. No, 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 there's been no bridge of security. Without I, think, I think this is in the Matrix with her. We are all she can see this, Rob. We should take her out. No, we let her finish. I have the 50 million people watching this one, Mike. Don't let me feel until I want this out. You've got to remember this is real. Well, I'd probably be even like it's real. Look, blood pressure's up, respiration's up, heart rate's going through the roof, mate. Look. Like home. She looks scared. So, yeah, use it. Sam! It's following me, can you see it? It's right there! Sam, you control it. You create this world here, remember? Jack, what's going on with your sister? What does it want from me? What she was talking about is getting worse. It's freaking me out! Rob, let's take her out. Man, they concentrate Help me! All right, come on! Help me! Fine, get her out. Done. You're up, Sam. Thank you. Stand by uplink, revised transmission. This is too strange. Something definitely happened. Now what do we do, Mike? Alexis? Alexis, and run my intro. Julie, please load Alexis, alternative rock three. Two minutes, including Rob's intro. Same time code on my mark, yeah? Five? Four, three, two, and go. Yeah. As the world of dreams move without invitation, so the mind of Samantha's come to rest. But we welcome now one of our great classics, one of our great dreamers, the one, the only, Alexis. Oh, Alexis. <laughs> Thank God there's only one. What is it with that? Alexis? Is this guy kidding or what? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Holly, no, I am not going to try and get that stage again. Come on. You don't give up. Right. Contact Aftenamen with the Alexis Wieland down. Transmission. And with the right, we have the Alexis image. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. No, I know. I'm as disappointed as you are. I realize that, David. I'll take care of it. Bye. Well, Mike, Sam's really screwed us this time. Exhausted. I can't do this anymore. You have to. Don't keep telling me what I have to do. Wait, let me finish. Yes, Sam, it's true. I have a lot riding on this. But so do you. Fifty clubs around the globe saw you flip out tonight. Christ, you know what this business is like. If they think you're on your way out, you're on, on your, your way, way out. out. You don't know what it's like having that thing watching you. It's not watching you, Sam. It's a completely interactive system. I know what it is. It still freaks me out. It's never threatened you. It doesn't have to. 
It's creepy enough just the way it looks at me. I've been inside a hundred times and I've never seen it. Don't. Don't try to tell me it's just my fantasy. It's there. I didn't create that thing. We only see it with you, Sam. Just get rid of it. Or I'm not going back in. All right. You're exhausted. I understand. The last couple months. Go to your room, rest. We'll talk about it later. I'm not going to change my mind. Go to your room, rest. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Okay, you're right, Rob. Are you coming by later? If I can, I've got things I have to tie up. Samantha? No one's allowed backstage tonight. Excuse me? Do you know who this guy is? This is Jack Taylor. Halston. Taylor, please. All right, all right. I'm sorry about my friend. He's a little overexcited. I'm Jack Holston, Samantha's brother. Are we on a list? Hello? Bonehead? Are you stupid? Can you hear Taylor, what he's saying? please. What is it with you tonight? All right. Enough already. Look, I gotta get in there. My sister's in real trouble. Right, I'm going. All right. All right, I know the score. That's right. Look at them, you're letting them in. Look, what's with that? Sorry, I'm so sorry to have inconvenienced you, you know. We should have a drink sometime, maybe my place, you know. Come on, just give me a beat. I'm going in there. I'm going in there. That's the best you could do, Mr. In Like Flint. Holly. Holly. Dying here, Laura. We should have seen this coming. Rob, I've screened hundreds of girls. And some of them even had talent. But that's always a problem. First, Mike won't even hook them up unless their alpha waves are perfect. And then there's you. None of them were right. We need another Samantha. Well, there isn't one. There must be someone out there. We just need to start seriously looking. We've been looking for the last six months. You know how long it took to find Samantha. Who the hell are you? Hi. Can we talk to you guys? Just for a moment. How did you get in here? I'm calling security. No, no, no. Hold on, Laura. I'm Rob Parker. You are? Holly Moon. I'd like to work for you. And what do you do, Holly Moon? I sing. I'm very good. She is. You should hear her stuff. Here's my demo. I write all my own songs, music, lyrics, arrangements, everything. Rob, we really don't have time for this. And do you dream, Holly? Of course. Do you dream sensations? Sounds, aromas? I mean vivid, colorful, extraordinary dreams? I'm dreaming right now. Let's give her a listen. Sure, why not? Good luck. Thanks. Can I have that? Sure. I've got plenty. Somehow I knew you'd say that. It was a technical malfunction. She didn't know what to do. No, it's more than that. She's a pro. She wouldn't stop in the middle of a performance unless something was really wrong. I know, buddy. She looked pretty freaked out to me. Remember last week? She was saying they were having problems with the system. Did she tell you what was wrong with it? No, she couldn't. She had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. You remember I told you? All right, right. Listen, isn't there any way you can get me in there just for a couple of minutes to talk to her in person? I don't know, buddy. It's bundled up tight in there. Impossible, huh? I didn't say that.
It's definitely going to be an heirloom. Now, it's an heirloom already. We only have a few left. Oops, sorry, last one. Of course. If you'll just give us your credit card number. Thank you for buying from web sales. We'll be calling you again soon. Holly, I need to use the phone. How long are you gonna be? Ugh, I'm done. I need a break. Hey, I just heard on the news that Samantha's suffering from clinical exhaustion. I heard that. Do you remember that article we read in Lurid magazine about performers floating in tanks and their brains connected to computers? Come on. You don't believe that. This is a classy operation. Rob Parker would never be involved in something like that. I mean, he's a babe. No, Devin. He's above that. He's a sensitive, intelligent man. I didn't even notice what he looked like. No, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but how do they do that cybercast stuff? I don't know. It's virtual reality. It's like TV, I guess, except 3D. Hello? Holly, it's for you. Hello? Holly Moon? Yes? This is Laura. Can we talk? Who? Laura from Cyberphoria. You broke into my office yesterday. Oh. Yeah. Can you come in this afternoon around 2? Come into Cyberphoria? Yes. It's just for an evaluation. Sure, sure. I think that would be convenient. I'll leave your name at the door. Fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, 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 what? You want me to come into Cyberphoria? Oh, my God, honey. <laughs> I haven't seen so many security guards since high school. You never went to high school. All right, it was Juvie Hall. So what? Wise guy. Anyway, the fact that they wouldn't let me see Samantha this morning shows they're scared of something. Hey, what's this? What's that sounds going on here? She, the girl from last night. So? So, what's she doing here? Maybe she's gonna finally replace Alexis. Or Samantha. Ready for you now. Holly. Glad you could make it. No problem. Mike? Mike Lake, our tech wizard. Hi. How you doing? Hi. So, do you have a cover? Oh, I write my own songs, remember? And they're very good songs, Holly, but we wouldn't have had time to put them in the playback computer, would we? I only sing my own songs. I love it. Still got a disc? Sure. Put it on channel 23. If you don't like the key, tempo, anything, we'll change it. Oh, you won't need to. Whenever. OK.
great, 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 great. Yes. <laughs> you liked it? I loved it. <laughs> now we just have to take care of some details. Mike? Laura, let me know as soon as you can. Okay, Holly, now we've got to see if you're compatible. Compatible? Our new system has some very special needs. Mike? We just need to run a few tests. You mean like medical tests? Yeah, kind of like medical tests, yeah. Look, Holly, if you don't want to do this, we understand. But we've got a couple of girls to audition, so we've got to have a decision. Of course. I'm ready. Okay. Follow me. Everything's resting on this. We've got to get it right. So keep Samantha out of here. Have you sorted out the problem? Take a look at this. This is up. The best shot yet. Well, what is it? It's probably something she's generating herself. Something dragged from a subconscious that's been captured by the machine and made real. How's that possible? Well, we don't know what is possible. This software didn't exactly come with a manual. Maybe she's just had too many sessions in VR. Isn't there supposed to be a limit? Well, no one's had more sessions in VR than Rob, and he seems fine. OK, so? So I have no idea who could have written this, let alone how Rob got hold of it. The only thing I know about this, Lara, is that it's brilliant. It's years ahead of any other program on the market. And it scares the life out of me. You're a grown man, Mike. Do your job. See these codes here? Two days ago, I'd never seen those before. The machine has written those itself. And that just isn't possible. You better get on with it. Holly, hi. Holly, come in, nothing bites. Ah, oh, tell me the truth. There are no brains floating in tanks, are there? No, we had all those for breakfast. <laughs> that is tabloid trash, Holly, and this is science. Now, we're going to hook you up to a machine which will check your responses to visual stimuli. It's a marker for detectable cerebral voltages. Does that mean anything to you? No. <laughs> Me neither. Come on, let's go. software must have taken forever to write, right? Right. But Cyberphoria has it up and running in no time at all. I mean, with no staff and no programmers. So they didn't write it themselves? Right. Where'd they get it? I have no idea. But let me show you something. This is the Cybercast from the other night. At first, I thought this was like compressed video, you know, like digital stream. Taylor, please. But this entire image is synthesized, and that's just not possible. No? No. It's like the entire image is virtual. I mean, everything. Samantha isn't being superimposed upon a VR background, which is what you, I, and the rest of the world understand when we talk about virtual reality. I see that, but couldn't that just be an advanced editing technique? No, Jack, this stuff is seamless. It's like a camera came in and recorded an event, an event which we both know never even took place. And even if you could do it, you couldn't render it. I mean, not real time. This stuff is like gear flops. Taylor, English? I have no idea how they do this. The, uh, the blue one is your reading. Great. You can see how Great. similar they are. I mean... Sorry. I couldn't wait. How'd she do? Well, it's preliminary, Rob, but look at these figures. Outstanding. 
Just about perfect. Just about perfect? Mm-hmm. Well, we can't do better than perfect, can we, Holly? You want the job? Yes. You got it? You're kidding. No. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Welcome, Holly. I am going to make you a star, you know, right? Just wait and see, Holly. I'm going to make all your ambitions a reality. Quitting? No. I enjoy selling catalog clutter to middle-aged housewives with the sales resistance of a three-year-old. Yes, I'm quitting. I have a career now. They're gonna give me a contract. It just happens so fast. Well, that's the way it happens in this business. One minute you're nothing, and the next you're... Well, you know. <laughs> you can stay in the apartment. Of course. And for now. Samantha lives in the club, so does Rob. Oh, are they together? <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, what, she's like out of the picture now? Well, when you saw her, it's kind of sad. Excuse me? Is anyone sitting here? No. Thanks. Have we met? I don't know, have we? Jack. Cyberphoria, you ratted on us. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was desperate. Oh, did you get in? No. We did. Did you? Hey, you know what, Holly? I'm gonna go back and get those shoes. Okay. Okay, so I'll see you in about half hour. Okay. <laughs> you wanna meet at the fountain? Mm hmm. <laughs> so. You want to be a singer, too? Oh, no, no. I, I was trying to see Samantha. Oh, don't tell me you're a crazed fan. No, Samantha's my sister. I'm worried about her. Samantha's your sister? Right. Mm. She is. <laughs> Why are you worried about her? Can't you talk to her? No. Rob Parker really tightened security after her last performance. Why? They're screwing with her mind. I mean, you saw, she's losing it. And he doesn't want anybody to know. I heard she's exhausted. No, no, it's much more than that. Well, how can you blame Cyberphoria? Do you know what they put her through to get those VR effects? It's not what you think. Please, you're not gonna start talking about brains and tanks, are you? No, although there was some truth in that story. Oh, the tabloids. But whatever Parker and his flunkies are doing, they won't talk about it. They made Samantha sign a non-disclosure agreement. Isn't that odd to you? Uh, I'm sure it was a standard contract. Okay. Defend them if you like. But you better be careful. Excuse me? Be careful of what? Well, you know, if you... I mean, you know. This isn't an accidental encounter, is it? Sure it is. You've obviously found out that I'm singing at the club and you're trying to protect Samantha's uh, gig from no, me. No, Holly, listen to me. Oh, now you know my name. Please, what does it matter? You know what? Goodbye, Jack. Holston. Jack Holston. Can you eat that? Yeah, I'd like to try. So how'd you do, Taylor? Can we hack him from the outside? Firewall, proxy servers, no way. You know, you didn't entirely strike out. Come on, Taylor. No, I'm telling you, she likes you. Says who? Conventional wisdom. What? I'm telling you, it's an animal thing. You can just see the way she walks. You gotta trust me on this. I expect you to know about animals. Hey, you are what you eat, all right? What are you working on? I'm just trying to fix the bridge. So, where is Rob taking you tonight? He just said someplace special. Uh-oh. Oh, he's not like that. Just take it easy. Watch yourself. Hey, did you hear anything about Samantha yet? Is she gonna finish the concert? 
Oh. Just come up to two. Okay. Rob said that they've all been trying to get her to perform, but they're getting tired of her attitude. He said that most pop stars, when they reach a certain age, Dress up. Oh, <laughs> this old thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably should have told you where we were going. Where? It's kind of hard to explain, but you're gonna love it. Okay. See ya. I mean, the machinery, it is impressive, but it's not the important part. People are. I can see that it's a creative environment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi. So how does this work? Interactive. It's about the host. What you're thinking, what you're feeling, what your ambitions are. That's what gets projected into the cybercast. You have to be in touch with yourself. Honesty. The system reflects your imagination. Hey, look, let me show you. Let's go with Genscape and load the power sequence. The new one? Yeah. And uh, you want me to load the shutter? What do you think? This is the heart and mind inside the fort. What is all this? We've come up with a way to let the artist create her own universe, Holly. One that can be shared. You know, this is the part that I don't completely understand. And how could you? Holly, what I need from you right now is a leap of faith. Just sit down and relax. It's safe in everything, right? Perfectly. I mean, the reason I'm asking is because I saw Samantha's cybercast and what happened to her? She looked scared. Samantha is like so many people in this business. She's her own worst enemy. Sam's deeply troubled. And that's her problem. And it has nothing to do with us. Okay. Should I sit? That camera monitors you the entire time. Mike? It records your REMS and any other reactions you may have. Blood pressure, heart rate, respiration. Mike's got all your vital signs. We don't take any chances. Good. Now you're gonna feel a little dizziness when we start, but it'll pass. I get motion sickness. It's not like that, you'll see. I'm gonna be right over there in that chair. Okay, I'm ready. Mike? Yeah, I gotcha, yeah. Um, is there something I should do to kick off the machinery? Just use your wonderful imagination, Holly. <laughs> Visualize. The system it learns from us. It downloads images from a mind's visual cortex. It takes the dreams, puts them into a library. The more we use it, the better it knows us. The better it serves us. Go ahead. Close your eyes. Think of anything.
What was that? Your dream. <laughs> but I was Samantha. I, I mean, it was me, but I was just like her. Because that's your fantasy, to be where she is, to be what she is. But it's not. I I, I mean, she's great, but I've never wanted to copy her. That's not the way I am. Consciously, maybe, but that's where your imagination took you. Insecurity, perhaps. Come on, let's go back in. I want to show you something very special. Hi, Mike. Hey, Sam. How are you, how you doing? OK, I guess. Have you seen Rob? Yeah, he's around somewhere. He put her into VR, didn't he? The grand tour. Come with me. Enjoy the ride. Sam, don't do this yourself. It's all right. It's not your fault. It's mine. Hey, I should never have gotten so crazy about a stupid glitch. Sam, we're still working on that. And you get it. You're brilliant. Nobody else could have figured out all this stuff. Thank you. Mike. I need your help. How? Put me into VR. All I want is to show Rob that I'm not afraid of that thing anymore. Sam, I can't do that. Look. I know Rob has a new singer. I watched the audition. And it's all right. I know this is a business. Rob's got a show to put on. But this is my life. I am the one who created <laughs> everything in there. You know that. Those are my dreams. At least let me go in and show that I am a professional. Sam, don't tell Rob I told you this. But you are right to be worried about going back in there. Something weird is happening in that machine. No, Mike, no. What I saw was on an illusion. I can handle that now. Sam, the last time you were in there, your heart rate was going through the roof. Now, I am not prepared to put you back in there until I feel it is safe for you to do so. Do you understand me? OK. We're friends. Good. I've had to make some pretty hard decisions in the past. Oh, sorry. This is my dream, Molly. I come here whenever I want, whenever I can. It's beautiful. Glad you like it. The Holly Moon. Thank you. You know you're right, Holly. Copying Samantha, it isn't you. I've seen things. You have a unique talent. I haven't seen it in a long, long time. Thank you. 
express that vision. How should I start? You have to find your own voice. glitch in the system or something. The thing is, Rob, this is spectacular, but what does it have to do with my music? Oh. Everything. All right. <laughs> yes. I just what was that? I don't know. Sometimes the code in the system creates a digital illusion. Mike's been working on it for weeks. It didn't frighten you, did it? No, no. I it just it surprised me. I'll tell you what. Why don't we get back to reality? Okay. How do we do that? Watch this. Mike? Okay. That was incredible. It was like a trip to paradise. It'll be better when it's your idea, Paradise Holly. Think about it. If you can think it, you can experience it. If you can experience it, we can experience it with you. You create your own backdrop for your own performance. Think about what your new video's gonna look like. When can we go back in? Huh. Soon. <laughs> Glad the disturbance didn't scare. No, no, no. It was amazing. I can't wait to get started. What the hell did you let her in for? Rob, we've got problems. Yeah, but we'll talk about them later. No, we'll talk about this problem now. Holly, I've got to talk to Mike. Why don't you go work on some of the visual concept we're talking about? Okay. All right? Okay. Bye, Mike. Yeah, bye. Well, Michael, what is it? Something you got to see, Rob. Oh, Sam. That's what we're going to do, Rob. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, Rob. She's dead! Shh! I'll work it out. Persons for superstar Samantha have announced that the pop singer is suffering from exhaustion and has cancelled her upcoming concerts. Fans have been worried about the star's increasingly erratic behavior, which climaxed last week when Cyberphoria was forced to cancel a cybercast in the middle of a song. Rumor has it that Samantha has entered an exclusive facility to recuperate. Rumors which Cyberphoria would neither confirm nor deny. Cyberphoria's venture into the newest of entertainment. You heard it? Uh huh. I've been trying all morning to find out what happened, and I can't get anyone to talk to me. My friend on the net, Shishin Detox. Is absolutely sure that their new cybercast will soon be the show everyone is talking about. Hmm? Cyberphoria hmm? Yeah. also announced that their hot new discovery. Holly Moon will be debuting in the slots left vacant by Samantha's illness, said one Cyberphoria spokesman. Samantha was hot, but Holly is hot, hot, hot. I'll get out of here. In other news. 
Well, looks like our little friend's doing pretty well for us all, huh? You think she knows anything? Think she'd tell you she did? Think I got any other option? Come over here, Jack. I want to show her what I found. Look at this web page. Now, I've been thinking about this VR program, right, and where it came from. Now, what is the only organization in the world that can have at least 100 programmers writing software for it for at least three years and never show it to the public? It's got to be the government. Oh, my God. Miracles do happen. Jack, honey, you've been such a good contestant, I'm going to show you the grand prize. War's up. That's right. Information courtesy of a conspiracy buff in Alexandria, Virginia. I mean, check this guy out. This guy can name no sources, has got no physical evidence, and the Department of Defense denies every allegation. So you believe him, right? Right. Right. About five years ago, he says the Department of Defense initiated this VR program in order to create the perfect killing machine. Digital battlefields. Not a bad idea. Jack, I was using that kind of program when I was in high school. I mean, this goes much further than that. I mean, we're talking about, you want some pizza? No. We're talking about interactivity, a whole new level. I mean, this program was supposed to have just, like, tapped into all these soldiers' fears, then manipulated those fears, and then thrown right back at the soldier until the soldier conquered it. How could a software program determine human fears? That's the Frankenstein part, Jack. According to this program, it can actually tap into your subconscious. I mean, it would materialize thoughts that nobody even knew were there. I mean, you're talking about a soldier's personal demons hunting him down. Program that taps into the subconscious. That's pretty creepy. You know what's even creepier? Stop being a simulation. You know those computer buffs I talk to every day? They tell me that this program killed an entire squad of men. Come on, you really think that can happen? Jack, your heart beats because your brain tells it to. Your lungs breathe because your brain commands it to. You cut off that chain of command, and you got about 30 seconds to live. And it looks like this program can actually do that. OK, so just supposing you're right, why would Cyberphoria want to get involved with something like that? The visualization realization component on this thing is incredible. And if you're willing to spend 20 years in a federal prison for stealing classified property, then you can do some pretty amazing things with it. This is what they got Samantha using? <laughs> Wait a minute. Could this be connected to that Shadow Man thing she's been talking about? I don't know. Could be. But I think they would have disabled that combat component. But what really worries me, Jack, is this is fundamentally combat software. And I don't know how you can convert that that easily. Samantha's dreams become living nightmares. That's right. <laughs> okay, Howie. So, I'll see you after the show. Oh, um, Rob invited me to a little party afterwards um, to meet some of the big executives. <laughs> really? But you know what? Um, come on in, and I'll show you where to go, and then we'll just have lunch tomorrow. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go right down Okay. <laughs> All right. Good job. Thank you. Oh, Holly. Oh, hi. Hi. I've got to talk to you. I need to find Samantha. Oh, I'm sorry about your sister. I, I'm a huge fan. We're all praying she'll get well soon. I don't think she will. Oh, I'm sure she will. Listen to me. You can't go into VR tonight. I found some classified information. The military stopped using this software years ago because it was so dangerous. Look, um, I'm sorry about Samantha. I'm sure that it must really hurt to see someone go on in her place. Look, this is not just about Samantha. She didn't have any problems until she went into that damn machine. Ask Rob Parker about the shadow in the machine. Ask him what it is. Holly, darling, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Is he bothering you? Oh, no. No, this is Samantha's brother. Be quick, sweetie. We need to get you hooked up. Okay. 
Listen, um, I'll try to find out where she is. I'll, I'll do what I can. So, any sign of this anomaly? I bet for every line of this program, Rob. Can't find a thing. It only seems to manifest itself when someone's in VR. So what now? We put Holly through the works and kill her as well? Hey, hey, hey. We did not kill Samantha. Whatever that thing is, she created it herself. We may never see it again, Mike. Rob, are we going to run the program again? Yes. Well, then we'll see it again. It's like a virus, Rob. It's hidden in there amongst Sam's other thoughts. So what do you want me to do? Shut down? This is my life we're talking about here, Mike. Get me some documentation. Go back to these guys you got this program from and ask them. <laughs> yeah. Hi, we'd like to return the game. We're not having any fun anymore. They're pros, Mike. Wake up. No, you wake up. Our leading lady's ready. Holly, how you feeling? I'll tell you when it's over. <laughs> um, actually, I just ran into Samantha's brother in the hallway, and he's very worried about her. He hasn't been able to get in touch with her. I'll take care of that. OK. Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I mean, who are they kidding? They're just, they're just gonna replace Samantha? I mean, they must have no clue. Speaking of clueless, where's your friend the artist? She's over here. You can hardly wait. Now just relax and do what you did at the audition. <sighs> what was that? Ride your talent. Thanks for everything. You make it easy. Rosa. Break a leg. Newcomers of life, welcome to our fantasy, welcome to our journey, welcome to the dream. Tonight, we welcome the arrival of a new princess in the kingdom of dreams. Welcome, one and all, to the imagination of Holly Moon. Smith ever was.
Thank you, Rob. No, wait. Monitor his progress, but let her finish her song. I thought I told you to monitor. I was. It's never been like this before. Stop, bro. No, wait. Let it finish. Really <laughs> right, sometimes I finish. <sighs> A new princess in the kingdom of dreams, Holly Moon. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new star in the house. It was good, wasn't I? You were terrific. The global reaction is fantastic. Listen to them. That was incredible. You wait till the next cybercast, Holly. Word of mouth will spread to kill the game. Holly, did you have any problems with the experience? Actually, um, I don't know if this is a problem or anything, but but right at the end of the number, I, I saw this, um, a strange figure. Mike actually is working on fixing that, and it won't be happening again. Why don't I take Holly to freshen up? Then she can meet the executives. Good idea. 30 minutes, Lloyd. See you then. Next time? There won't be no next time, Rob. Well, we better just monitor Holly a little more closely, then. Do you understand what's happening here, Rob? No, I don't. Tell me, Mike, what's happened? Eleven months. Eleven months that thing took to find Samantha. That was Holly's first performance tonight. And it was three yards away from her. I don't know what that thing is, Rob. But its presence just gets stronger and more powerful every time. Then fix it. I have got the whole world watching right now, Mike. And I am not about to throw it out the window because you can't find some software bug. If I go down, you go down. I've done my job, you do yours, Mike. Unbelievable. If you persist in harassing us. Harassing you? I'm trying to find my sister. It's your moment, Holly, and now we have to capitalize on it. I've come up with a real strategy. I want to promote a major concert event this weekend. This weekend? Why not? It's the biggest thing that Cyberfoya has ever done. We'll pull together all our resources. You really think I'm ready? I know you are, and the net is so ready for you. But it's going to require a lot of focus and a lot of energy. What the hell is this clinical and news programs talk? I'm next of kin. If she's incapacitated, you're supposed to go through me. No, I'm filing a major lawsuit against all you people. I'll pick you Do up that by all means. Work together. Goodbye. Wait. I'm sure it's a knock. Of course it's I am. It's his brother. I'll see you today. He won't let up. He says we're using bootleg software from the Department of Defense. said about the software, is it true? Yes, true. So? So, how come he knows about it and I don't? 
because he worked it out. Someone had to sooner or later. I see. Thanks. Now, a lot of Samantha's creations are stored in memory, but I want to start working on your vision, your unique vision. Well, I've got plenty of ideas. I know your determination is just like mine, but I want something that'll blow them away, something that'll make them wonder how the hell we do it, you know? Well, maybe we should go into VR and start working. No, tell me you're not putting her in VR, Rob. Yeah, Mike, we are. Listen, Mike, if you got a problem with any of my ideas, talk to me, please. Just tell me about it, but save me the attitude, all right? Yes, Rob. was my last piece of pizza. It's just arrived in my email. No sender, no return address. Oh, brother hacker, what is it? I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. Give. Right. That's what we got here. What is it? I don't know, it looks like a scrambled VR transmission. Cyber for you? What else? Looks like you got a friend you didn't know about. Why? What am I, Geraldo? That's for us to figure out. It kind of looks like Samantha. I don't know, I can't really tell. Can you slow the image down or something? Yeah, I'll, I'll try. Yeah, it's Samantha, all right. Who's that with her? What is that with her? Whoever sent this to you must have taken a big risk. You know, this just could be the only proof of what happened to her, right? Jack, this is a bad recording, all right? We don't even know who sent this and to we us. we gotta tell Holly. What are you, nuts? We got no proof nothing. And why did whoever sent this do it? Maybe he's got a bad conscience. Maybe he just wanted to cover his tracks. No, I don't no, know. No, no, That could have been my sister dying on that Jack, just there. just calm down, all right? Calm down. I agree with you. We're gonna have to figure out what these images really are. But I need time to work on it, all right? Just have faith in me, buddy. Okay, you're right. I know I'm right. We're, with you. we're gonna crack this, all right? I don't know how, but we're gonna crack it. We go to work. Well, I think we'd be much better off with a winter house in Tahiti, and then we can spend the summer months in the villa on the Riviera. And what about those awkward in-between months? Oh, God. We're gonna need a Victorian mansion in New England in the fall so we can see the leaves change color. Yeah. Huh. And what about spring? Excuse me? Are you Holly Moon? Yes? Could I please have your autograph? Um, sure. Um, what's your name? Sarah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure. See, Holly, it's starting already. You have no idea how weird that just felt. Weird, but nice. Yeah, really nice. God, Holly, what's it gonna be like when there are thousands of people just wanting to part of you? I don't know. It's a little scary, I guess. But it's kind of exciting. Devin, don't worry. We're not gonna grow apart. What's it gonna be like when you get really successful? Devin, stop it! I signed one autograph, and all of a sudden, we're not going to be friends anymore? It's ridiculous. People drift apart. Well, we won't. I hope not. Thank you.
Making progress. Oh my God. What Samantha would have wanted? Come on, just think, will ya? No, she tried to tell me that something was wrong, and I, I let her do it anyway. You did everything you could. Yeah. You did everything you could. You try to handle this your way, and you're gonna end up in a box. I grew up with people like this. I know this guy. This guy's a killer. And you're not. This is all we need. Let's take this to the police, man. Okay, I'll take you to the police. No one's answering at his place. I went round there. He's gone. Is he out of his mind? Mike's scared. That bug in the software is really freaking him out. Samantha's brother making threats. What? We can handle it, but you know what he's like? He panicked. <laughs> so who runs the board? It's just a computer. I know some of it, so do you. We are almost at showtime, Laura. Rob, we can do this. We don't need him. Whatever it takes. Jack, I'm telling you, this is stupid. No. What is stupid is thinking the police are going to act immediately on possible evidence to a possible homicide. So what do you suggest for once? I'm going to stop this right now. Come Fine. On. Let's get inside. All right, Jack. You know the deal. Just calm yes, down. We we'll talked about this, all right? Hi, I wonder if you right, could help right. me. I'm going to right, go through right. right. a right. 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 No, my sister Samantha, right. you know you said out here. My sister died in here. Get your hands off. Get out of here. My sister, my sister died in here. Girl, come on. I told you this wouldn't work, didn't I? Just keep moving. Keep moving. Don't look back. Oh, Jack. Jack, what is it? Come back. Everything I told you is right. My sister died in there. Samantha died in there. Will you listen to me? Will you stop being so stupid? I got an idea. go great. Oh, I know. <sighs> My whole life has been pointing towards this, Devin. It's like... Destiny? Yes. It is. I'm gonna savor every minute of it.
so we're just gonna yank her out, right? No, no, if you do that, you'll fry her brain. We have to show her this so she can see the danger herself. Right, right. So where are we going? I have no idea. Taylor, Taylor, come down. You know, every door is blue here. Hey, no, no, I have an idea. They love you, Holly. They're waiting for you. Just be yourself. I will. Thanks for having faith in me. Everything okay? Yeah. Where's Mike? <laughs> I'm operating the board tonight. You're in good hands. Cyber Foria, Cyber Foria. You know, the guy who drew this map didn't even work here. He's a moron. Taylor, which way? That way. You're guessing. You're right. Let's go. Ready. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome. One and all veterans and newcomers of life. Tokyo, ready. Welcome to our fantasy. Welcome to our journey. Welcome to the dream. London, ready. Ready. Fantastic. Okay, you call with this equipment? Jack, I know what I'm doing. It's my thing. I hope so. Can you see the VR? New York, ready. Copy. Stand by the R. Yeah, got it. Okay. Overriding sequence started. Password is seven digits. We'll just run through all the possibilities sequentially. It's a million possibilities. That's going to take 90 seconds max. Right. Tonight, we welcome 52 countries from around the globe. Initiate sequence. Five. And to mark this moment in time. Four. We welcome. Our new princess of dreams. Three. Cyberphoria welcomes the imagination. Two. Of Holly Moon. Go VR. Let's show Holly the disc. I'm riding the macro, which will insert the image into the cold stream. Bravo. 
happened. Oh my god. It's back. Taking so long. I'm Jerry Regan, a communications link up on an operating platform, sitting on top of an illegal top secret program. You want to try? Just hurry, okay? It's showing up on the broadcast. Is the audience seeing it? I don't know. Block it. The system's not responding. Then pull her out now. Out. How can that be? Some hacker is overriding us. Damn it, pull her out, Laura. Holly! Okay, forget the disc, just get her out of there. Uh, yeah, I think I can figure this out. I just need a few minutes. Kayla, she'll be dead in a few minutes. Just get her out of there. until I can figure out how to pull her out. I mean, right now, it's her against the program. Does she still control what's going on? No, at the moment, it's controlling her. That's why she's so out of it. Did she get it back? If you can wake her up, use the mic. Holly? Holly, you gotta snap out of it. Can you run the disc? Yeah, yeah, I just finished the macro. Do it. Got to help her. What was that? Where's the disc? Why can't I see it? It's feeding directly to her. She can see it. Sam died. She's seen it. If your dreams like everyone else.
what do we do? Let them help her. It's over, Rob. Where is she? Check. Huh? Check. Where is she? In there. Holly? Holly, help me get this thing off. All right. Holly. Hey, wait a minute. Holly. Thank you. You did it. You were right. I just had to see it for myself. Come on, Jack. All right, easy. We'll be okay. So, when the VR shadow touched Samantha, it meant that the program started controlling her brain instead of the other way around. Now, what people forget is that inter interactive is two-way. So then the program overrode her medulla oblongata, and she stopped breathing. O-B-L-O-N-G-A-T-A. How can you charge somebody with a murder that was committed by somebody's imagination? Detective. We found a body, Mr. Parker. Jack? Yeah, I'm just taking it. Samantha. She always knew who she was and where she was going. That was her strength. She knew she was ambitious and she used it to get what she wanted. I know about ambition. It's not a bad thing. I wish I had more myself. Oh, you do just fine. Samantha was lucky to have a brother like you. Yeah. Listen, Holly. Don't ever forget who you are. Or what you're not. That's what Samantha did. And that's why she's dead. I'm just discovering who I am. Maybe. And when you're able to forgive yourself, we can be friends. Yeah. I'd like that. 